Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make plant labels such as these ones here out of any kind of plastic material that you find in your recycling. They'll look very similar to the ones that you can get that you buy in the shop. So to make these plant labels what you'll need is a plastic container. Margarine tubs, ice cream tubs are normally the best or yogurt containers. Something that's square also works better because if it's rounded it doesn't make such a nice flat material for making plant markers out of. Also, um, if you get a material that's white plastic, it's much better because if it's see-through plastic, it's not as easy to see or as, white on, or as easy to write onto as the clear plastic is. So something like milk containers, they're not normally too bad, but as I say, with them being clear, they're not as easy to write on as something that's white, a bit more contrast to your, to your black ink on your pen. So you'll make sure the containers are nice and clean, not any food residue or anything. All you need to do is get a pair of scissors, cut off any of the... Um, sections that aren't flat so you want the nice flat area of plastic all these bits on the edges that make the uh, the lid or or make the uh, the rim that the lid goes onto you don't want any of them so you just want to cut them off just like this you need a pair of fairly sturdy scissors as well it's a bit like cutting through card anything that can cut through card should be fine with this or even sturdier than that would be good same with this um, margarine container I'm just going to cut off around the rim at the top make sure that's not in the way because as I say it's really the flat plastic that you need otherwise you can't write on it. So for something like a margarine container as I say the lid there you've got a nice flat piece. To make a flat piece here you can just simply cut along the corners and then all you need to do is cut along the base there so you've got some nice flat pieces cut out like so. Two end bits, they'll be fine if you want some very small labels, but I generally don't use them because they're a little bit small for what I need, so I normally just dispose of them in the recycling. And then for the bottom section, the same as what I did with the lid, I'm just going to cut off around the edge so I don't have any of that uh, piece, any, any of the plastic that's not flat and even. I want it nice, flat, and even plastic. So then all you need to do once you've got your flat pieces of plastic. Any, any anything that aren't perfectly flat like this again, I'm just going to cut the end off there. So once you got down to just some bare plastic, to say the white side is a bit you're going to write on, so make sure you've got some nice white sections. If you've got bits with patterns and stuff, just you just have to use the other side for writing, that's fine. So these aren't super thick, you can get thicker bits of plastic, it just depends on how big a margarine tub is or whatever, what it's made out of. So all you need to do next, is cut them into sections. This could make three, um, but I'm going to make two slightly larger ones here. It just depends how wide you like your labels really. And you just want to cut them into strips a few centimeters long. This one here I can make two slightly narrow ones. Same with these two, they can be cut in half just to make some slightly smaller narrower labels. And then all you want to do to make them have a point so they can go into the soil easily is you want to get the piece of plastic, it's best if you cut it off at the section where you've already made a mistake like there. You can see I've taken a slight corner off. You just want to go probably at the last quarter of the um, of the plastic, so you've got three quarters here, a quarter of it there. You want to go slightly over the middle point, so I'll just make a mark there. You don't need to do this to cut it, but I'm just going to put a mark so you can see where the middle point is. So the middle point's about there. When you cut it, you want to go just past that middle point like that. And then when you cut it from the other side, what I tend to do, because it's difficult to do it from an awkward position, you just flip it over like that. And again, you just go past the middle point, so just around about there. And that leaves you with a quite a nice point. Now you can vary how sharp you're pointed. For example, if I want to make this one an extra long sharp point, all I'd have to do is cut further down, I say halfway down, and again, just past the halfway point, flip it over, just past the halfway point. As you can see, you've got a slightly larger point on it there. So that's all you need to do really to make your labels. I'll just show you a few examples on these slightly narrow ones. Again, go up to the top quarter, just past the midpoint, flip it over, up to the quarter again, just past the midpoint and cut. There you are, you've got a nice um, looking label, pretty much like something you buy in the shop. And all you need to do then is get a permanent marker write whatever plant name it is that you're planting out. And then you can just stick it in the ground, pointy end in first, 
nice and easy to push in because it's got a point on it and it'll just sit there. Being plastic, it's not going to rot away or degrade in the sunshine. It's going to last quite a long time. These might not, these, if you're in a very sunny, hot country, these might only last a couple of years because the sun does make the plastic a bit brittle. But I find that here in Scotland, you can last, these can maybe last up to five years before they get too brittle. So that's it for this video. As to say, you can also make it out of any kind of plastic material that's thin. But uh, milk containers aren't normally the best. But as I say, ice cream tubs, margarine tubs, yogurt tubs, anything with this kind of white plastic that you see, that, that works really well. So there you are, that's an easy way to make um, your own plant labels. It doesn't take long at all. You know, you can, you can literally just snip them away in seconds and you've got yourself some plant labels which are just as good as any of the ones you get in the shops. And it's completely free of charge, of course. So there's just one more thing I wanted to add. You can reuse these labels. So, so to remove the permanent marker, all you need to do is get some rubbing alcohol. What I've got here is uh, a gel form of it, basically, basically an antibacterial uh, alcohol gel. But uh, rubbing alcohol works just as well. Just so happens to sort of have to hand. And all you need to do is gently rub it on there. Just give it a couple of, just give it probably 20 seconds, maybe 10 seconds. You don't need to wait long. And then give it a hard scrub and it'll come off very easily. You can see there comes off very nicely. If there's any scratches on it, they can get a bit stuck in a couple of places. But generally, any permanent marker will come off nicely with some rubbing alcohol. And then you can use it again as many times as you want until eventually the sun degrades it and it gets too brittle.